should be sad. And instead of asking God, could you take this away? In case you're not familiar with this channel, that's what we do whenever we screw things up. Maybe I could distract you from the fact that I'm so very flawed. And you'll forget all about it. And then you'll praise God. Well, no, I was thinking about depression and anxiety. Every time I'm on my knees, I look up and I say, Hey, Lord, please, pretty please, pretty motherfucking please, could you just be with me? And he always is. I really don't even have to ask, but I always do. thinking about our attitude and how if we tweaked it ever so slightly things might not weigh down on us so heavily but because we're convinced that we're not supposed to feel like shit because we're convinced Life is supposed to be way more than it is. We'll always be disappointed. And when you're disappointed, you're more likely to listen to pieces of shit that don't have your best interest. Like the Democratic Party. It's true. That's how they got me. Well, also, I'm against war. So becoming a leftist just made perfect sense. Because I was in high school when those two towers came down. And I remember thinking to myself, well, this is yet another great excuse for us to go to war pointlessly, and you're gonna have a bunch of morons that just go along, because that's what they do, because it's part of their identity, people don't even think about it, you know, that's why you get all these people rushing out to take that waxing Because science, 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 that's their identity. Yeah, let's change it. I was getting bored. funny though. They swore up and down that they hated Donald Trump so much, but they couldn't wait to take this shit that he put his name on. All to prove to their politically correct friends that being a guinea pig was so cool, cool, cool. They're already a guinea pig, let's be real. But I guess everybody is, in their own way. Yours truly used to be. And then she smoked a lot of weed. Cause her soul was in need. Of some sweet relief. From this shit ass world. 
that's the purpose. To teach you that you have alternatives. To teach you about your other options. Yeah. Oh, but they're illegal options. So fucking what? People that make the laws rape kids. Who gives a fuck? I don't fetishize obedience to the law, you stupid fuck. I don't fetishize love for my country or whatnot. I want to change it. original topic, what was it? Uh, how people whine about depression. Yes, 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 they do that. They love to do that. Well, you'll always be depressed then. Until you realize that you're not a victim. You'll always be a victim inside your head. God to take it away. Ask God what you need to say to yourself to help you get out, get out of the mindset that it's so hard to live with whatever you're living with. Acceptance really is the answer. That's never what people want to hear Because they want relief That goes along with the world Yeah, they want relief Totally legal relief Conventional Unquestionable relief well, That's not relief At least it's not to me But I ask God What would you like me to do with this Since I'm sitting in my shit Smelling it I might as well make something out of it, so That's what comedy is That's what art is And so, I can only assume If I'm not your cup of tea It's because you haven't been through as much as me But maybe I'm wrong for assuming that about you Why do you think I put up so much stuff, so much stuff? Think I like doing this. Just because I'm good at it doesn't mean that I want to. But that's what God wants me to do. He taught me how to transform it and help other people with it. He taught me how to transform it show other people how to live within it whatever psychosis is we understand because my psychiatrist he told me that weed caused psychosis and I said I'm gonna get to know psychosis that's, that's true it's true was that some psychotic rant just now? <laughs> I mean, I can help people navigate, baby. I can help people navigate. They're really going to need me, especially in, in this, in this not-too-distant future. You'll see. <laughs>